In this lesson, we're going to look at determining the linear inequality from the solution. What we did in the uh, one of the previous lessons is doing the reverse, is finding the solution given the linear inequality, so doing the reverse. Uh, first of all, in order to do that, what I want to do is actually show you what we've done previously really quickly. As an example of it, it says represent the solution of the linear inequality y is less than 1 half x minus 4. What we graph is the boundary line, and the boundary line uh, we graph from slope-intercept form, which this is already in slope-intercept form, so 1 half x minus 4 has an intercept of negative 4 and a slope of 1 half. So that would be our boundary line, and because it's not included, because of the less than sign and not less than or equal to, this boundary line would be dotted, something like this. Okay. Uh, to figure out what side to shade, what we do is use a test point, and the test point that we generally are going to use if it falls on one side of the boundary line is the point zero zero. Just ask yourself, does that point zero zero satisfy the inequality? So zero less than one half times zero minus four, or in other words, a zero less than negative four. The answer to that is no. So what we're going to do is shade the opposite side of where zero zero is. So this is the inequality or the solution represented by that inequality. These are all of the coordinates that would satisfy the inequality. What we're doing in this lesson is the reverse, is if we're given the solution or the, uh, all the points that satisfy the inequality, what is the inequality? Uh, and you'll see that it's quite similar. We just have to kind of think backwards. We'll just do two questions. These two questions say simply write an inequality to represent each solution. And in order to do that, what we do first of all is we need to know what the boundary is between the solution points and the non-solution points. And that boundary can be placed in slope-intercept form. So your boundary is y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. That's slope-intercept form. Now all we really need to do is investigate the sign. We know that this sign is either going to be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to because it's solid. Okay. In order to figure out what the boundary is actually or what the inequality is going to be, all we need to do is now use a test point that we know is a solution. So in this particular case, we know that the point 0, 0 is a solution to this particular uh, inequality. So what we're going to do is just substitute 0, 0 into the linear function. So we'd have 0, and we don't know what the sign is, but it's greater than or equal to negative or less than or equal to also uh, negative 2 times 0 plus 3. So if we evaluate both sides, we'll get 0 on the left-hand side and 3 on the right-hand side. So now we can determine that the inequality sign that is going to be used is this one here. So finally, our inequality to represent all these solutions is y is less than or equal to, because we found that sign here, negative 2x plus 3. And that is the inequality uh, to represent the solution. Let's just do one more really quickly. You may want to pause the video and try this next one yourself. That may be the most helpful for you, but you're going to use the same process. So in this next one, we know that the boundary, just from slope-intercept form, would be y is equal to, and the slope looks to be 3 halves, so it'll be 3 halves x plus 1. In this particular case, we know that the inequality sign is either going to be greater than or less than because it's a dotted boundary line. And what we're going to want to do is not use the point 0, 0 because that's not a solution to this particular problem. So we may want to use the point. I'll just choose a point here, maybe negative 2 and 0, and substitute it in. So I'll have 0 something. It's 3 halves times negative 2 plus 1. So we have 0. We don't know if it's greater than or less than yet at this particular time, uh, but we do know that it's going to be negative 3 plus 1. So 0, something, negative 2. In this particular case, we know the sign goes greater than because 0 is greater than negative 2. So the inequality that represents each of this particular solution would be y is greater than 3 halves x plus 1. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is just summarize the key ideas here. Uh, in order to write a linear inequality given the solution, what we're going to do is determine the equation of the boundary line uh, in y equals mx plus b, or in other words, slope-intercept form. Uh, also, as an aside, if the boundary line is dotted, the inequality is either greater than or less than because it's not included, and if the boundary is solid, the inequality is either going to be greater than or less equal to or less than or equal to. Finally, what you're going to do is substitute any point you choose from the solution region into the equation of the line to determine the direction of the inequality symbol. 